Hi guys, welcome back. Guess what today is? It's payday. So that means I get to pay some bills and stuff some cash envelopes. So, you know, it's about as fun as it can get. So, um, if you are new here, my name is Betty. I do all sorts of stuff on this channel. I do budget stuff. I do Photoshop. I do junk journals. I do tutorials. I do craft with me. I do a Mod Podge of all of it. I just, I love to be busy. I love to have my hands doing stuff. So you will see all kinds of stuff on my channel. Um, so if you are new here and you're not subscribed yet, please subscribe, hit that button below. Make sure to like the video, share my um, channel with others. Um, we will be doing another um, cash giveaway um, as soon as I hit 6,000, which is approaching very quickly. Um, so that is coming up. And for those of you that have stuck through me, with me through everything, thank you. You guys are the bomb diggity. My kids can't stand it when I say that. <laughs> That's why I say it. Um, so before I get started, oh, let me put this out of the way for just a moment. I do want to show you a couple of things that are in my Etsy. So you guys have seen my, um, my little, um, envelope box here. I've got all sorts of envelopes in mine because some of these were like trial and error. So, um, I've got the envelopes in there. Well, I have some now available on my Etsy. So I have a 26 envelope challenge and it comes with the cute little box. It comes with a laminated um, tracker and then it comes with 26 envelopes. Now um, these vary, but I do use the same paper pad for the entire box. So you're not going to get a bunch of like insane um, pieces or whatever. So, um, I do use, I don't mix and match paper collections in each box, if that makes sense. So that one is the 26 envelope challenge. And then I also have the 52 envelope challenge, which it's the same thing. You get your, um, your laminated tracker. And you can reuse these. You can write on them with a Sharpie marker. Or um, what I like to use is the wet erase markers. There's that. And so, see, these are a little bit different design because it was a different paper collection. But your money will just fit right down into these little, um, these little envelopes, um, just like mine is there. And they will also come with labels, but the labels will be blank. Um, they are the little, um, I don't even know what size they are, but they're just for you to be able to write a number or something on them. And I apologize for the racket. Okay, and there's the 52 week. And then we also have the 100 envelope challenge. So same thing, it comes with the laminated tracker and it comes with 100 envelopes. I think this is a pack of 50. I have to get another pack of 50 in there. Um, but yeah, so those are available on my Etsy. Um, make sure, and these will fit, let me show you this. Um, these do fit down in the box this way they do go in so um, I've seen a lot where the envelopes had to be like that but these do go down in there really nice so that way it stays nice and neat and purdy purdy and I will try to remember to link these boxes in the description box below okay so before we get into counting the money and all the fun stuff, um, I've had several people ask how I do my budget. And so I've done it on this laminated one that is bigger so that maybe I can explain it to you a little bit better on how I do it. So my ultimate goal is to be at zero when I'm done with my cash stuffing. Not zero as in I have no money, but it's just that every single dollar has a place. 
So we are starting off with $1,468 today. And if you'll see, and I kind of tried to break it down and color code it. You guys know I love color coding. So these bills here, these are automatic um, payments. They come directly out of my checking account. So I left $618 in my checking account to cover these bills. So if you see right here, I took $1,468 and I subtracted the $618. That left me with $850. Now, my binder that I take with me, that's what this uh, money here is. It totaled $300. So you see down here, I have $850, which is this figure here, minus $300 is $550. Then I go over here, and this is my sinking funds. And this total $350. So I took $550 and I subtracted the $350, which left me $200. These are my savings challenges, and they totaled $200. So when I take $200 away from $200, I'm left with zero. And that's what I want. So this right here is the same thing that's in my book. I just done this um, so that you guys could see. All right, so let's get the money and let's count it. So because I left 618 in the bank, that means we should have $850 to work with. So let's hope I done my counting right. And I don't think I have the exact denominations because they didn't have 50s where I went. Yeah, I don't know. All right, so we have 100, and I'm using the calculator because I am not going to attempt to count all this. All right, oh, and the 20s, a lot of them are brand new, so I had to kind of like go through and try and stick old ones in between them because they were like super crisp and sticking together. All right, so 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 85, 20. So we have 520 in our 20s. We have no 50s, and I needed 50s today, but oh well. All right, so now we have in 10s, we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 91, 10, 20, 30, 40. So we have 140. We have a lot of fives. And we have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80. And in ones, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 which gives us the $850. All right, so let me just bring this all down a little closer. All right, now the first thing we need to do is we need to get my binder here. This is my daily binder. This is what goes with me everywhere. And I have a bunch of receipts that I need to upload to Fetch. And if you're not familiar with Fetch, that is where you get, um, you earn points every time you um, upload a receipt. And then those points you can turn around and use um, to get gift cards. All right. And then we have some change. So let's empty the change out. And I did not bring my little change tray in here, but that's okay. I'm going to set that to the side for now. All right, now let's see. So beauty, we had $10 left. Loathing, we had one, two, three. Giving didn't have anything. Car, we had five, six, seven, eight, nine. Groceries had nothing. Health had nothing. Household. Oh, there's some change in there, too. Let's get that change out. Okay. 
and household had one dollar and some change. All right, hubby had nothing. Miscellaneous had five, six, seven, and supplies had twenty-one, two, three, four. So let's put the four over there. And we're going to put the 20 back in supplies. We'll roll that over. All right, so let's see what this is. Okay, I'm just trying to, we got a lot of ones for the um, $1 challenge and several fives too. All right, so we got 5, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. Look at that righty one. All right, so I'm going to set this back here for now. And let's get right into our binder. All right, so beauty, we are going to add $20 today. And I almost hate folding these 20s because they're so crisp and perky. Alrighty, there's 20 in there. All right, clothing, we are going to add a 20 in there as well. I really hate to fold these. Like, they are so crisp. I don't know if it's picking up on the camera how crisp they are. Okay, giving, let's see, we are going to put $10 in giving. So let's, let's do two fives. All right, so there's our giving. All right, car, we are going to do 10. So um, let's do a 10. All right, there's that. Now, groceries, we are going to do 50. So that will be, let's do, let's just do two 20s and two fives, maybe. All right, we'll see how it works. We may have to make change out of some of the envelopes, but that's fine. So there is groceries. All right, health is going to get 10. So just to keep it easy, I'm going to put a 10 in there and hope that I got the right amount. It's hard, you know, when you plan something and you want like the certain denominations and then you get up there and you can get them. It's like, oh, what do I do now? All right, household is going to get 10. So let's go with two fives for now. All right, hubby, he always gets 20. My hubby man. So there's that. Okay, miscellaneous. What are we going to put in miscellaneous? I think I'm going to do, let's do 10 in miscellaneous. We're going to do two fives. I don't know if I'm not having the right uh, money has really messed me up. You know, the right denominations. Big time. Okay, supplies is going to get 50. So we'll do a two twenties and let's try doing two fives we'll see how that works out so we now have 20 40 60 70 dollars in supplies and i normally don't roll over uh, the money in these envelopes but with it being supplies yeah that's a whole different thing. Okay, so that binder is done. 
Now the next binder I'm going to do is my kiddos. And this is the money I am putting um, to give them. And most of these kids are grown. But this is money I am going to give them at Christmas. And so they will each be getting $10 this week. And so that will give them a total of $20, $30, 45 So there will be 45 so far in each envelope for the kiddos. And when you have as many kiddos as I do, this is a challenge for sure. Um, because I want to save up as much as I can to give them cash at Christmas time. Rather than trying to buy gifts or anything like that, you know, and not get something they don't want or don't can't use or don't need, I would rather give them cash and then be able to use it. And like I said, most of these are grown with families of their own, so you know how it is. Cash is always a good thing. So that's what I'm doing is just sticking these tins in here. See, we're just now halfway through. <laughs> I need to speed this part of the video up just because I have so many kids. Goodness. I'm sorry, guys. We're almost done. <laughs> I wish I could stuff more in here, but I don't know. If I have some, you know, extra in my sinking funds or something towards the end of the year, I will maybe add to it. I don't know. But I'm thinking about starting a binder for my grandkids to put, like, some extras money in. So there's... I'm, I am thinking about doing that. Okay, so now let's get into my sinking funds. All right, so on this one, we have birthdays. And birthdays is going to get 50. And so that will give us... How much do we have in birthdays now? So we're going to add 50. And I had to use some out of birthdays because my youngest son turned 13. All right, so now we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 95. So we have 95 in birthdays. All right, rainy day is going to get 25. All right, and Rainy Day has got $100 in a high-yield savings account. That's why that placeholder is in there. And then, so now we have 50, 70, 90, 110, 115, 120. So we have 220 in Rainy Day. All right, Christmas, we're going to put 50. And so now, let's see what we have in Christmas. All right, so in Christmas, we now have 150, 70, 90, 210, 230, 240. Taxes, we are going to start back adding to this. I just had to pay taxes. So we got to start replenishing this fund now. So it is getting 25 today. All right, home is going to get 50. So 20, 40, 50. So now in home, we have 100. Tech is going to get a $100 bill. So now in tech, we have one, two, three, twenty. All right, vacation, we are going to put 
50 in there. So 20, 40, 45, 50. And I don't think I've done the I'm going to have to get some change because I'm just thinking about some other stuff I've got to get done. Okay. So now in vacation, we have 150, 60, 70, 80, 90, 200. All right, I do need to get back some of the tins because um, I am doing my um, envelopes and I needed some tins for that. So let me do this. See, I should have had all this planned out, guys, and I didn't. Um, let me get, let me do one more, and then we can go ahead and get into the rest of it. Okay, now I want to do some of my envelopes, and I want to do, let's see. 19, 20, 21, 22, and 23. We're going to do all of those. Okay. So 19, I need a 10, a 5, and 4 ones. 1, 2, three, four. Okay, so there's 19. Okay, let me stick 19. I'll go ahead and stick it in. There's 19. Now I need 20. And we need 21. And we need 22. And we need 23. we get we are moving right on along with that box okay so let's put these in there 19 20 21 22 and 23 look how pretty that looks I love it I love it love it love it okay so there's that. Let's move that out of the way. Now let's grab our savings challenge binder. Okay, I'm going to skip these for a moment. So in our $500, um, we are going to add a 10. So now we have 20, 30, 35, 40. All right, in our thousand, we are going to add 25. So now we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 105. All right, what is this one? This one is the February challenge. We are going to add 50, so 20, 40, 50. And so that gives us 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95, 100. 
and we have ten dollars left and that goes into our black friday and so now we have 10 15 20 21 22 23 24 25 and so see there it is now i do still have this money here and that is what goes in these right here so in our dollar challenge we're adding these so now in our one dollar challenge we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven twenty eight twenty nine thirty and thirty one we have thirty one dollars in our one dollar challenge i'm gonna have to condense that and then in our five dollar challenge we now have 25 35 40. all right and that's it guys we are out of money and out of time but you know i have my binders that i can pull from when i need to um i take this one with me whenever i go anywhere so this is the money that i use um but yeah let me know what you guys think. If you've stayed with me this this far, please leave me a heart. Just let me know that you're, you know, you're here with me. And um, make sure you're subscribed and be on the lookout. There will be another giveaway. And I will link the um, envelope challenge boxes in the description below. All right, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.